All right. Well, hey, we're here with Johnny. Johnny's from Chase the Heat. Chase the Heat. That's an awesome YouTube channel. I'm going to put your YouTube channel below as well because uh, I've I've watched a little bit. That the stuff you do is pretty. <laughs> it's it's interesting to say the least. So, um, but I wanted to 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 talk with you because uh, I connected you through Chris, who makes the ES Power Drink, and um, for me, I shared this a little bit with you, but I was. I connected with Chris for a few reasons. Uh, one, we were, we were working on a project together, but and we're friends. But he had lost 110 pounds um, in like seven months, something crazy. And I have a I have a path. I have about 30 pounds I need to lose. Um, but it's not just that because I, I I don't I've never been a guy that's like oh I better I want to look better <laughs> like that. It's 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 really it's my heart. I've had a high level level of calcium uh, build up in my heart. I have uh, two slight blockages, you know, and I'm, I'm just too young for that. And I saw what Chris went through and I just wanted in on it. And so he introduced me to this drink, which is, uh, got, uh, Trinidad scorpion peppers in it. Uh, and, and I'm just amazed. So, so now we have you who, you know, this is great. We know I'll talk to somebody who indulges in this thing. <laughs> So, uh, Johnny, I'm just going to let you chat about anything you want to share about peppers, man, and how they change your life. It's Thank you for having me. I really appreciate Absolutely. it. Um, you know, it really has been a pretty transformative thing, the whole pepper thing. Um, you know, you talk about Chris. If you, I saw a video of before and after, you, you've seen the video. Mm. It's not even the same dude. I mean, I know it is, but it's like that man. And it's weird. It's weird. We have to understand that when you change your body like that, when you lose that much weight, you are a different being. Mm -hmm. I don't just mean the outside. I mean, inside, outside, up here, everywhere changes. Everything changes. There's nothing about your life. That's what it was when you change like that. Um, and with me, you know, it's, it's funny. I first got into peppers when I was just a little boy. I, my dad was just, I had the most amazing father in the world. And uh, <clears throat> he was just my hero. And so anything he was into, I, he wa he played golf. I wanted to play golf. He was a tennis player. I wanted to play tennis. <laughs> well, when I was about, I can't really know, to be honest, probably seven or eight, maybe nine, somewhere in that range. Um, he was eating a pepperoncini. And I just said, I want one. And he said, no. And I just pounded him until he tapped out. And uh, I just, he th didn't think I'd like it. And I just have loved it ever since. But, you know, it took decades before I ever really knew that or felt or saw any of the health benefits of it. And I think the reason is when I was younger, it wasn't really like I kind of go after it now. This is really my thing. When I was younger, I'd, I'd eat spicy stuff when it was around, but now it's just always around. And um, I, I, I got into Chili's as far as watching videos 10 or 15 years ago, a long time ago. Um, hippie seed company is actually what got me into chill, watching watching videos at least and uh, the way my channel started mark was and i'm getting to the health benefits i promise but my when i started the channel i was my daughter who is graduating pre-med in may i'm the mo i'm so proud of her um, yes, she's yeah, amazing, a with point. a 3.8 grade point average she's just amazing anyway she was a little girl and she was a she's a diver and uh, that's she got a full four year ride for diving she, and with a three point eight grade prime. She's just amazing. But she, I was watching a guy eat a, a chocolate bootle of pepper, and at the time it was really like one of the hottest peppers in the world. Still is. And I said, "Honey, come here. You got to see this," because it was funny. And she sits next to me, and it was on a computer. And the second she sits down, he just sounds like a longshoreman. He just released a string of obscenities and i don't curse in front of my children i just don't and i couldn't I, I couldn't cover her ears i couldn't back it up i couldn't mute it i couldn't undo it and i was just like oh and i invited her over for that i felt so bad about that anyway it was in that moment that i sort of thought you know there's it's a beautiful thing chilies are great but there's no there at the time and when i tell you this it's going to sound like a bizarre it's not even going to sound true to you but when i started my channel there might have been a couple dozen youtube channels about about chilies I mean, it was just nothing and i knew who they were you had a question yeah i was just gonna say i'm amazed with what you're saying because that's really literally why i started my channel was because i was trying to watch videos on on guns or something you know and then all of a sudden it's 
like they're cursing, or, you know, they're cursing or it's half naked lady shooting machine guns. And I'm like, this is like, I'm not even learning anything. Right. And, and if that's I really wanted to learn something, how can I learn it without ha being, having the, all this crud? Well, that's what it is too. Like there's three kinds of channels on YouTube. There's educational, there's informational, and every once in a while you'll get one that's both. And I wanted to create a family friendly place where you'd have very interesting stuff that you kind of couldn't turn away from. But stuff where it'd be it would be fun to watch. The kids could watch it, but it'd be informational. And <laughs> you're preaching to the choir here, man. <laughs> yeah, through, through chilies. I mean, there there are so many health benefits from chilies. Now, I broke my back in an automobile accident a long time ago, and I broke my neck. And I've had, you know, I have plates in me, and you know, I have fusions going on. And I was addicted to, you know, in my life, I I abused or was addicted to everything. And it's by the grace of God that I'm sober today. I, I quit all of the hard drugs about 14 years ago, but I'm, in April, it'll be five years from alcohol. Nice. And that factors in really big in just a minute. But um, I really just really, the more peppers I ate and the higher increase of, of capsaicin I ate, the better my life became. And here's why. There are some wonderful benefits from, and there's some, there's some things like you hear a lot, like there's more vitamin C in a pepper than there is in three oranges, you know, it increases your metabolism, so you're going to burn fat off. It's a, but it's a phenomenal painkiller, and people don't realize that there are tons of muscle rubs. If you read the, the 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 ingredient is this, that is the chemical formula for capsaicin, and that is the thing that makes muscle rubs hot and penetrating your skin. It's it, they're using it in cancer research. But what it's done for me is I the strong. This is the strongest drug I take. Nice. That's it. And it, during pepper season, I don't even eat these. I eat a few peppers <laughs> in the morning. I mean, I'm pain free all day. So, That's but more, most importantly, and this is probably one of the absolute greatest uh, benefits of chilies that no one's really talking about. Um, I, having got, gotten into the chili world, I know. When I tell you I know a million, it's I'm exaggerating, but I can't I couldn't put a list together of how many people I know in the chili community that are sober like me and they attribute chilies to it. So I did a big deep dive on mm. it. And what I've learned is that, and this is empirical evidence, man. This is like lab proven stuff. When you higher levels of capsaicin increases your serotonin levels in your body. And it's been proven that serotonin helps human beings deal better with anxiety, frustration, anger. These are, those are triggers. Listen, if you're not trying to quit something and you just set out on your day, frustration, anger, depression, those are triggers, even if you're not trying to quit something. But man, if you're trying to put a substance down, those are things that make you reach for your substance. So yeah. if, you've got, if you've got something that's gonna increase your chances <clears throat> of dealing with those issues, it's going to make quitting anything easier. I know people that have quit, and I'm I'm not going to go through the litany of drugs and, and afflictions that people have quit, but you name it, and I know somebody that's quit it from eating peppers, and it's just the most amazing thing. And, uh -huh. and you know, what, you know, the, it's the opposite of addiction. When you have an addiction, you push everything good away from you. Chili's brings people together, and here's the other thing that's really fantastic: if you eat enough of them you get a fantastic buzz from it and it's legal and healthy and good for you. <laughs> so there's all, there's just, there, it's a ton of fun and it's a, it brings people together. I started my channel just for fun. I had uh, no aspirations of ever like being a YouTuber. You know, my youngest, uh, my middle son, his Johnny Jr. He started his own YouTube channel about four or five days ago which is funny. He's doing the same thing I'm doing. He's family friendly. He's a believer. He's a wonderful boy. He's a man. I shouldn't say that. He was a kid when I started the channel, but funny when he was about eight, he comes to me and his mom. We're not married anymore, but he said, I want to be a YouTuber. And I said, dude, that's not a job. I said, listen, you're going to get a degree. You're going to go to school, get a degree, and you're going to find out what's right for you. But YouTube you know, it's not a gig, dude, not a real job. And then like fast forward a bunch of years and, you know, I started for fun and it just sort of snowballed. You know what I mean? I didn't, things happen. Like I, I'm the accidental success. I, I, you know, I've had so many businesses. If you knew, I'm, you know, the Ray Kroc story. The what, what is it? Ray Kroc. 
Uh-uh, no. Ray Kroc is the man who started McDonald's, or at least he's the okay. one who ended up as the guy who started McDonald's. He got it from somebody else, but he had a string of failures, one after the other, just over and over and over. And every business he had, he failed. And as the story goes, he wasn't even allowed at Thanksgiving dinner. And when he, the only person that ever believed in him was his secretary. And when he died, he left everything to her. But he never gave up. And I've had a million failures. And I started this thing just for fun. And I mean, the probably a year, maybe a year into the channel, I got a message from a man named Punchit Unreal. And he's in, he's like a Kennedy in the Philippines. All right. His uncle has been a, a, a like a senator in the Philippines for 30 years. So right. it's like the, he's like royalty there. He he's the president of the Pepper Federation in the Philippines. And he emailed me one day. He's like, dude, we we we'll pay you an appearance fee. We'll have you come over here and nice. we'll pay your flight and put you in the nicest hotel if you'll be our guest at our Pepper Fest. And I said, look, you know, I, I, I was taken aback. I was like, Listen, it's all very, very nice, but you know, I don't maybe we have our signals crossed. I don't sing in dance and I can't do a show number for you. I don't know what you pay me for. He goes, Are you Johnny Scoville? I said, Yeah. He said, just show up and be Johnny Scope. So I did. And when I got back, I got the same offer from, from uh, Australia. And then I got it from New Zealand and then London, and then Belgium. I ended up going around the world a few times. Nice. <laughs> I haven't paid for any of it. It's just because people, and it's, I'm, I'm scratching my hairless head wondering how this happened. <laughs> then about a couple of years, three years ago, I got approached by uh, Netflix. They were doing a special called We Are the Champions. And it's a bizarre docu series <laughs> with 10 different episodes showing really weird uh, contests from around the world. You ever see the people that chase the wheel of cheese down the hill? That's yeah. sort of really crazy stuff. And one of them was a chili contest. So for that epi that uh, special, um, I thought it would be a good idea to jump out of an airplane and then eat, while I was free falling, eat 10 of the hottest peppers in the world. I did that and I'm not a skydiver so it made that whole thing very interesting but I was able to do it in one take which was pretty great and it just sort of snowballed into something it just kept morphing into something else and you know and it just I remember about th the third year into the comp into doing my channel uh, you know I, when I started that channel I told my boss knew about it I worked I worked on and off for the same company for like almost 18 years and he had a YouTube channel, but it was about the business that he was in, that I was working for. Mm -hmm. And when he, I started my channel, he, said, I got some, he gave me some advice and stuff. He saw that the channel was growing and he sort of knew what was happening. He could see it coming. I knew he could. And after three years, I'm looking at it going, look at my paycheck going, you know, I don't, I bet if I stopped doing this and worked hard at this, this would, I could do this. So I called him, I texted him and said, you got you to gotta call me. And he sent me a question mark, texted me back. I said, call me. So he called me. I said, I love you. You've been a good friend for years. And thank you for the opportunity. But I have to let you go now. And <laughs> there was this pause, this really pregnant pause. He said, he goes, what? I said, I'm letting you go. He goes, you don't let people go. I said, I do today. He goes, will you give me a two-week notice? I said, sure. And ever since then, it's just been one thing after the other and they've all fallen in my lap i've never sought one of those things out you hulu i got right when netflix began i got approached by a company that was doing a they were going to do just one show one documentary and they asked me if i'd be in it i said sure um and i don't chase anybody i don't i never chased girls I don't chase things come to me and I didn't chase them. They stopped calling. I didn't think about it twice. I just kept my head down making videos. And the, 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 the Netflix thing happened, you know, a couple years later, about, about a year and a half ago, Mark, I get, uh, I got a text from my contacts from years earlier from this. She goes, do you remember me? I said, of course. How are you? She goes, you're not going to believe it. I said, tell me. She said, Hulu bought that deal. And it's not going to be one episode. It's going to be a series. Will you still be in it? And I said, sure. I said, yes, years ago. You still got me. And it was a very funny thing. When we started, I was supposed to be in two shoots. We went to Dallas for Zest Fest was going on. And it was going to be just those two days of Zest Fest was what was going to be my portion of being in that show. 
I went down, they mic'd me up, and it's a weird thing. I'm a, you have to understand that. I, was, I lived a nefarious lifestyle for a long time when I was young. Been a believer my whole life, but I kind of just strayed. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Same. you know, yeah, I think we all, a lot of us have. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm back now, and, and it's just, the, but this, this whole thing has this just been the most bizarre thing. And uh, they, they said, we, we want, we, you know, shoot the f- first two days. And the first day was done, just the first day of, of the shooting. And I'm in the, the cab or the Uber going back to my hotel. I got a text from the producer and he goes, Scoville. I said, yeah. He goes, we're going to lean into you a lot more into the, in this program than we thought. Are you okay with that? I said, sure. I, you know, he got me. I said, yes. And I didn't know what they meant by lean into you a little bit more, but it ended up that they filmed season one in 54 days. I was on 34 of the 54 days. Okay. <laughs> I appeared almost every episode. So, sort of, you know, it's weird when we started shooting it. It's a funny, there's been a very interesting uh, reaction. The people that love it, are people that are watching it that don't know about the chili community. This, we didn't, this show wasn't made for chili heads at all. We don't sing to the choir. There's no point in doing that. You're on the team already. This, this whole purpose of this reality show is kind of pulling the curtain back and letting people see the fun of peppers. We don't, I don't think we talked enough about the health benefits, although we did touch on them in the, in the show, but it's just, you know, the whole thing has been the most surreal thing since then. A, a, from that show, a, fa- a major fast food company has approached me and asked me if I do the commercials for them. And I'm going to shoot a commercial with them in the next week or two. Nice. Uh, and this company right here, Harvest 912, is so near and dear to my heart, it's not funny. They're a mission out of Erie. And uh, they approached me. This is crazy, Mark. This is the cool story. You want to hear God all over something? They yes. approached me about a little over three years ago. And I've always, ref- listen, I was an old deadhead. I've been to a lot of dead shows. And in one Grateful Dead show I was at, I heard Jerry Garcia say, this is your bus. I'm just the driver. It's been your bus all along. And that really resonated with me because my channel isn't about me. It's about everybody else. I, I might be the guy behind the mic, but if you look at the fam- the, the community it's built, it's about them. It's not about me. So I've always referred to my channel as the bus. I get the uh, letter not even an email, an actual letter. I haven't had a letter in so long. And it said, we're on the bus. We've been on the bus for a long time. We love what you do. We have something we want to run by you. And I said, what? And they said, we want to have a bus. <laughs> they said, we have, a, we have a passion. We have a thing on our heart that we want to help the homeless because there's so many homeless people here in Erie. And winters there are brutal. And a lot of them are vets and just so anyway, they, I said, Yeah, I'll help. How can I help? They said, Well, we we have a company called Mad Cow. And if you can do some reviews for us, we'll sell some products. Maybe we can get one of these buses. Well, you fast forward a couple of years, they have this massive bus. It's got two full-time podiatrists on it. They have a staff that that helps. They have given over 500 pair of boots away to men and women and kids that are homeless and essentials, and everybody gets a Bible. And if they don't want it, they don't have to have it, obviously. But it's just the coolest outreach. They asked me to be their national spokesperson. That's awesome. I said yes. And it's just the beauty. Listen, I've never had a platform. Like, listen, in my life, I have never. I was never the guy where, hey, you want to listen to what Johnny says. <laughs> and now things have changed and you know it's, I'm, I'm very blessed for that but then then i get this i have a post office box i don't give out my address i don't need that happening about two weeks three weeks ago well let me back up a little bit i get I, a company in china calls me and says listen we want to send you a bike sort of like a peloton it's called you right? and i'm like why and they're like all you gotta do is sit on it ride it once and we'll give it to you well, I need to lose some weight. I used to be in great shape, and I'm not. And now I got TV cameras on me all the time. So I kind of like to get in a little bit better shape. So I said, sure, send me the bike. And they did. Um, anyway, I have this post office box so that people don't know my home address. And I go to it to get my stuff one day, and I have this box of energy drinks. I open it up, and I'm scratching my head going, yes, power drink. What is this? Usually, I'll get an email, a phone call, something saying, hey, something's coming your way. Nothing just showed up. 
<laughs> now I didn't gripe about it. Didn't bother me a bit. I got a lot, I go outside on my bike one day. It's about six, 70 degrees here. And I sit down on bike and like, I don't do anything halfway. Everything I do in my life, I do like I eat peppers. So the first day on the bike, I go for 35 or 40 minutes or something. So I'm riding it. The second day on the bike, I, ha I took this drink out with me. I'm going to drink this. And in the video, I said, I'm not even sure. I, you know, I knew who, at that time, I knew who it was. It was Chris. I even said his name wrong in the first video. I feel like such a dope. But I held it up in the video. I said, this is ES Power Drink. And what makes this amazing, I don't even know what it tastes like yet, but it's got Trinidad, Ruga, Scorpion, peppers in it. And man, he just had my attention, man. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. When I read it, I remember when I opened the box and I read it, I was just like. And it's funny because about two months ago, I said on a video, I want to start a, a company where we make sp spicy dr a spicy drink, but just like flavored water. I wasn't, th this is a little more, but in the video, I drank it and. Look, man, I've had, I'm not a kid. I'm not 14 years old. Every trendy energy thing that's come down the pike, I've tried. And and I, we talked earlier, like the only time I've ever really felt the effects of an energy drink is if I'm on a road trip and I'm starting to nod off and I don't want to sleep, so I'll chug a, a, a monster or like a, a, a Mountain Dew for the caffeine and I'll feel that. But like when I'm working out or something and I do happen to drink something, I never feel like, oh, hey, I got a little extra boost because of that drink. And I'll be honest with you. I didn't feel it with ES Power Drink. But what I will tell you is, I have never in 57 years ever tasted a better tasting power drink than that, period. And here's <laughs> the thing I think, that, you know, I talked to Chris yesterday. I'm not even sure he's missing the mark. It, it, it's a power drink, it's an everyday drink for everybody. I, yeah. He told me something that was remarkable. He said, I never, this never even occurred to me. I thought this would be a drink that chili heads are going to go after. He told me that there are people that are becoming chili heads because of the drink. They'll get on the drink and go, wow, peppers, where are these peppers? So it's an amazing thing. But the health benefits, when people really get in tune with the health benefits of peppers, you will never stop. In the chili community, it is the, it's comprised of, it's a worldwide thing, a network of the most broken people that are somehow fixed. And so many of them are fixed. A lot of them are believers, but a lot of them, have, chilies have a big, big deal to do with bringing people together and bringing wellness. So I just can't, you know, I don't think that you can talk enough about how good they are for you. And plus they taste really good. And I'm not going to lie to you. I, you know, I shared earlier that I've quit everything. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. Um, like I said, aspirin is the strongest thing I take. But I will tell you that the buzz that you get from eating peppers, everybody in the game calls it an endorphin dump because that's really what ends up happening. What happens when, when it occurs in your body? Has, first of all, has that ever happened to you? Have you ever had an endorphin rush from eating peppers yet? Okay. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I do. What ends up happening in that moment, what happened is, and it sounds bizarre, but your body went into panic mode. Mm -hmm. Your body essentially thinks it's dying. It's got a problem. And it's going, okay, we got, we're on fire here. Something's going on in this dude's throat. He's got a problem. He's burning. Send help. And it's just every inside of every human being is this wicked high dollar, high level pharmacy, but it's locked up tighter than a drum. Usually you access it when you almost get into a car accident, you slam on your brakes, it floods. It's the fight or flight mode. Or if you almost get into a, a fricus with somebody, that's when those endorphins are released. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not good when it's released. But when you have peppers, your body floods your, it just floods your body with endorphins and you have this amazing feeling of well being. I did a video with a man named Big Al, a really good friend of mine in Fort Mill, never done a drug in his life, a sober man his entire life. He had never done a drug, never taken a sip of alcohol in his life. He's a believer, a wonderful guy. This is on video. One day we're making a video at the office and he's eating a, a, a super hot pepper and he's he likes spicy stuff. But to do that is really stepping up. You know what I mean? That was really pushing it for him. But he did. He ate the whole pepper and we're in the video and I'm not getting an endorphin rush because I have a much higher tolerance. But he looks at me and he goes. Wow, I feel mellow all of a sudden. I don't, know how to, I don't know how to describe it. I've never felt this before. I said, Big Al, you got an endorphin rash. But it's a beautiful <laughs> feeling. And that is something that I kind of live for that. And I've had people that have accused me. 
because I talk about sobriety a lot. And I've had people say to me, so you traded one addiction for another. To which my answer is, you betcha, all day. It's legal, brings people together, it's healthy, it's good for you, and it's fun. Give me a reason not to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it, I, most, a lot of people I know, now it, as far as it being an addiction, it's not the addiction that uh, where you, you, you feel withdrawal when you don't have it. But I'd sure be disappointed if they took it away from me. Yeah. I didn't have it anymore. There's a really crazy book called The, the Core of the Sun. The Core of the Sun? I believe that's what it's called. And it's about a dystopian future where all drugs are legal. The only thing that's illegal is capsaicin. True, it's a crazy book. But that kind of thing scares me because there are so many benefits. I'm worried that if they ever knew how much fun I was having eating peppers, somebody with a bag <laughs> would knock on my door and tell me to stop it. Yeah. But the thing with Chris, that drink, he's just tapped into something. If you think about it, and I shared with this, this I don't even, shouldn't even say this, but in a, this is a, a niche market, a niche product to a degree. First to market with something like this is really big. And I did not do a deep dive to see how many competitors he's got. I'm sure he does have some, but he is poised. That I'm telling you, people are just waking up just now. We're in, the, the whole thing with capsaicin is probably where coffee was a thousand years ago. We're in its embryonic stage. Nobody even knows about it yet. When people figure it out, this is, I can see, I think ES Power Drink is just amazing. And I'm excited that I'm drinking it, you know? Yeah, I agree. I, um, when I it's first- It's good for your heart. Listen, it worries me. It's good for your heart. And if you have calcium buildup and any kind of valve issues, honest to goodness, please keep eating capsaicin. It's good for you. Yeah, I might go beyond this drink too after talking to you. I think uh, I think I might have to give it a try because I was on a cane when I first started. I had I had a knee injury and and uh, and it seemed like a month in I didn't have a cane anymore. Like it, and I was doing other things too. I was working out and and some other things as well. But uh, it was it was a big deal. It was it was a game changer for me. And I kind of like you because we were talking earlier is that, you know, he has that thing where you drink it every Sunday, but I feel like I could drink like two or three of those a day. Uh, they're, they're not like when he, he was kind of looking at my, like first time I tried one, he filmed me and I was wondering why, like, how bad is this? You know? Um, and I, I just put the whole thing down. <laughs> it was great. I how like, hot? Now, now here's the thing. I let my mother, I got a famous mom. She's my, ever see tool time that old tv show uh -huh. a TV show called tool time where the main oh character, yeah 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 the I know main it. character had a neighbor named wilson and this is all mm -hmm. you ever saw of wilson you never saw his whole face well that's my mom she's never appeared on a video and she, but she's always throwing her input in so if people have been, have heard of my mom since i started the channel she'll oftentimes taste some of the things that i get she is not not a chili hit at all. She doesn't have a tolerance for chilies. She tasted the ES power drink because I wanted to get her to, I wanted to get a non chili head number. And she said on a scale of one to 10 for her, it was a five. Okay. But, but so for, for me, it barely moves my needle, but let, just yeah. like what you just said, yeah. Mark, I, putting three of those away a day, oh, I can wake and drink one of those before I get out of bed. That would be the start of a day. The taste of it is so good. And to me, you know, if you have a meal that doesn't have spice yeah. or a day without spice, it's kind of like just fuel in your tank. I don't really just want to have fuel in my tank. I want it to be something more than that. So spice to me is what makes the world go around. Yeah, I agree. I, um, I grew up well with five children I have. Um, so they couple of them liked it a couple of them didn't but it was always kind of a sacrifice when i cooked to right well that's the weird thing every to every family that's got a chili head in it yeah it's not that hot that's what i've been told uh -huh. for eight years i need to have a t-shirt that says it's not that hot trust me you know <laughs> it's just one of those and everybody thinks i'm i'm fooling but you know here's the thing we're in a day and age now where hot has gone to new levels you know what i mean like if you look at Scoville scale, the Scoville scale, like a, a habanero is only about 
three, uh, excuse me, a jalapeno is about 3,000 to 6,000, or excuse me, six to 9,000 scoville heat units. It's not that much. A habanero is about 300,000, you know, but there are products. I have uh, some tincture here. It's, uh, it's, a, a, it's a process where they extract all the capsaicin from the plant. And as a result, they're able to achieve much higher levels than you ever could in just a pepper. And it can get as high as 16 million. Now, to put that in comparison, the hottest pepper is only about a million and a half or two. So okay. to have something that's 16 million, it's like comparing a a, a, a tonk, like a, a matchbox car from a kid to a gigantic dump truck. It's that okay. kind of a thing. Or a paper airplane to the space shuttle. It's We're really going into new areas. And in fact, we're selling things now in the marketplace. Products are being sold now that five years ago, you just couldn't sell. Hmm. But nobody could have eaten it. Tolerance have, has risen. Tolerance is everybody has risen so much. Even YouTube's tolerance for stuff has risen. I got to tell you, I remember about seven years ago, I did a challenge. Now I've done 566 challenges for my channel. It was the first month, maybe the first three months of my channel. In one video, I ate three ghost peppers. Now, that was a challenge for me in those days. That's like a snack now. So that wouldn't really be a challenge today. But that challenge, that video, I got a strike for it. It was deleted. I, I, I tried to appeal it, and they said, absolutely not. I asked them why, and they said it was a dangerous stunt performed in an unprofessional manner. <laughs> now you fast forward seven years and I'm launching myself out of airplanes, eating peppers while I'm free falling. And that's okay. <laughs> that's They're right. okay with that. But yeah, three, as long as you're falling. Seven years ago, three peppers was a problem. So truly everybody's tolerances have, have risen quite a bit. That's and interesting. It is. It's neat. It's beautiful. And it's only going to go further. Well, Johnny, I got I'm going to let you go. It looks like my uh, free Zoom meeting is telling me I have three minutes left. So I, didn't I didn't mean to talk, talk so much. You probably should have asked me more. No, questions. no, that was great, man. That was good stuff. I'd like to keep going, but it's telling me I only got three minutes, 11 seconds left. So I'm going to. If you ever want me back, my answer is always yes. You just got to let me know when. <laughs>